Welcome to Back Row Driver, guys. We're the Miser Brothers. Today, we've got a very special video. It's something you guys have been asking for. Sam, what are we doing today? We're gonna show you the money, baby. You guys asked to know exactly what everything on Sam's truck cost. We're gonna walk through it step by step and he's gonna tell you every penny he's got in his build so far. We'll show you all around the truck and you already know it's the 2021 F-150 Lariat Sport in space white with the 5.0 Coyote motor. Let's get into it. First things first guys, let's talk about the cost of this truck. I ordered this truck from my dealer back in October and it took several months to get because this thing is hot right now. It took a long time for Ford to get production numbers up. I paid $58,900 off the lot for this truck. I got $5,000 off of MSRP, which is a pretty good deal. I went with Venom Rex 602s in carbon graphite and these cost me $1,500. I bought those Black Friday special, so you may come in close to that number. You may pay a little bit more possibly. Next up is the Nitto Ridge Grapplers and 305 5520. Brad's had multiple sets of these on his truck and somehow they keep disappearing. I'm not sure how that works. These tires look very aggressive, but they're also very quiet on the street. Yet if you get on a trail, they're gonna do what you need to do too. So for a jack of all trades, you can't go wrong with the Nitto Ridge Grapplers. Next mod we did guys was a set of Falcon Shocks tow haul sport system. And these cost me $1,700 cost me $300 to have them installed and another $80 for an alignment so we don't tear up these new tires. We already have a separate video for each of these mods out if you want to check out all the details. We'll put links in the description to all those videos. Next up guys is these new wheel liners from Ford. These cost $175 for the wheel well liner and $35 for to have them installed. Wheel well liners are a great idea on any truck, especially on light color trucks. If you don't have wheel well liners, you're gonna see your frame and a lot of body color in here. And this just cleans it all up aesthetically and it's gonna keep mud and uh, sometimes tire rubber from uh, getting everything dirty all in here. Next up, we're talking about one of the big reasons I bought this truck it was for the V8, but the exhaust that you can put on a V8 is one of the major reasons gotta have that sound and guys i went with the awe exhaust and a vibrant resonator on it these came off of my previous truck a 15 eco boost we have a video out that's going to show you how all that works even though there are exhausts you can bolt right on um, out on the market right now we have a trick for that you can check that video out as well i paid 850 originally for the awe side exit exhaust with the diamond black tips the vibrant resonator was another $100, and it cost another $50 to have this installed. You may think that sounds a little cheap, but this entire exhaust was already put together and we had just slid it off of my other truck, so it was nothing to put it on here, and we just had one weld to make at the front. I wanna show you what it sounds like, so let's go start this thing up. Sam's got a buttload of money in this truck so far. If you like what he's done with his build, give this video a thumbs up down below and help the Miser Brothers conquer YouTube. The next mod we did was a Linex spray-in coating. And I believe that's a mod everybody should do if they want to be able to use a truck bed as it was intended. The product I chose was a Linex premium bed liner. So there's also a UV resistant coating that goes on over top of the Linex that's gonna make this stay shiny and clean for many years to come. Sometimes the Linex can fade over time. The quality of the job the guys at Linex do is second to none. And this Linex job cost me $680. You'll get a better look at it once we get this tonneau cover flipped up. Now, speaking of tonneau covers, this one cost me $200, and it also cost me $80 to have it installed. Probably could have done it myself, but I didn't have time. This one is a flip-up style or roll-up style. It's going to be a soft. Guys, the reason I chose this style of cover is I use my bed quite a bit, as you can see. 
not only for back road driver, but we also do have jobs. This cover will get completely out of your way so you can use your entire bed. That's just something that I had to have. Next up is floor mats. I had to get Ford floor mats because I do have this lockable folding storage in the back. And the only company that has floor mats that fit this truck yet is Ford. WeatherTech, Husky, all those manufacturers are working on them. You can get floor mats from those companies if you don't have this lockable storage or the ones you had in your previous generation will move right over to this truck and work just fine. And I'm pretty sure that that is on the front as well. You can't go wrong with the Ford product though. These are nice, got a great rubber feel, easy to clean up and fit great. These cost me $175. Next up, I finally got my windows tinted today, guys. You buy a new vehicle, that's one of the mods that almost everybody does. They matched up the tint in the back. This is 20% window film by SoCal. If you're not trying to put all that thermal tint on every window and everything, it's great when you buy a truck, you only gotta do the front two windows. These front two windows cost me $160. Next up guys is a JLT oil separator. Any vehicle that has direct injection, even if it also has port injection, I recommend an oil separator. I know it's a lot more maintenance and you gotta think about it. You usually have to empty these even before an oil change. It's well worth the investment. It's gonna keep your engine nice and clean. And you're gonna know if there's any problems sooner than later. We already have a video on installing this JLT on the truck. It's the one about cylinder deactivation. Check that out. In that video, we'll show you that any of these JLTs from prior generation fit up on the new 21. The JLT cost me $150. I'm gonna show you the last thing I've done to my truck. As soon as I'm done with that, I'm gonna give you a total for the mods and the total cost of my truck. What we got here is your uh, aftermarket antenna. You wanna get rid of the big floppy one that waves around. I got this one. It's not as cool as some of your bullet style, but I will say this has better reception and you can pick up your radio stations for longer and it does the same thing. Little tidbit, did you guys know that your antenna that comes with your truck is on there and it runs up a little bit taller than the top of your truck and that's to let you know if you pull in a parking garage or something that you're gonna hit. Hopefully you got enough sense not to pull in an area where you're gonna damage your truck. This antenna cost me 20 bucks. So all together, the mods that I bought for this truck so far cost me $8,155. And when you add in the cost of the truck itself, we're looking at $67,055 all in on this 2021 F-150. Guys, if you'd like to see a video that shows the exact cost of every vehicle that we have on the Back Road Driver channel all at once, comment below, show me the money. And we'll make a video showing you what we got in this entire car collection, every dollar spent so far. We're not even close to done yet. We'll get you up to date on exactly where every car sits today. Comment down below, guys. Hit subscribe, turn on the bell if you're already a subscriber and haven't done so. Guys, we'll check you out in the next one right now on an end card right up here. Thanks for watching. Peace. Peace. Peace.